Hello everyone and welcome to Discover Labyrinths with Lars Hallett. Today I'm going to show you how to create a classical labyrinth from a spiral. And this is a similar technique to videos that I've shared uh, on my YouTube channel. But this is showing you how to create a precise spiral um, for your classical labyrinth. Instead of, in my other video, you can see me use a tape machine and just create a freehand spiral. So to create a precise spiral, you need an object that you can wrap your string around. And in this case, I've chosen a can of beans, which uh, makes about a one foot pathway here. And um, the circumference of the object is gonna determine your path width. So basically you take your string and you stretch it out from the object to the edge of the wall, and then you wrap it around inward uh, around the object, hold on to a particular point on the string, and then as you are unwinding, you can lay objects, or in this case I'm using tape, and you want to um, follow along that point as you uh, wind your way outward from the object. And you can do this either clockwise or counterclockwise. I've just happened to to do this clockwise without even thinking about it. And you want to create at least four loops. So I've made four, but I want this to have a spiral center. So I'm going to make one more circuit to make this a five circuit spiral. And you can see I'm kind of running out of space here against the wall. So I'm actually going to fudge it a bit and make it a little narrower there and not actually uh, the true uh, consistent width of the path at the final entrance. So now that I have my spiral, I'm going to create the labyrinth by converting it, um, making a entrance pathway into the labyrinth. And I'm going to do that by laying down a piece of tape across four circuits. So you can see I start at the tail end, the the last piece of tape on the outside, and I work my way in across one, two, three, four pathways. And that is going to create the entrance to the labyrinth. And then to the right of it, I'm going to pay, place a uh, piece of tape across two circuits. And then on the other side, I'm going to do the same and place a piece of tape from the outside in uh, two circuits, and that's going to create the entrance to the labyrinth. So this is symmetrical. You can see there's a line of four and then two lines of two on either side. And it's important you get those in the right place for this to work. Um, basically, the first line of two is also going to be from the outside in on the uh, next spiral in from where you ended up with your edge. Now, you may want to have a drawing or a diagram to help you with this, or you could practice by drawing it yourself. The next thing I'm going to do is remove the three lines between the line of four and the line of two, and that's going to create the entrance to the labyrinth. And then on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to remove three uh, pieces of tape between the line of four and the line of two, and that's going to create the entrance to the center. Now, if you only had four loops, then your big piece of tape would go from the outside tail to the inside tail. Um, but if you have more loops, then you just go in four, and you end up with a, a spiral tail in the center. Now I'm going to remove one path width in uh, from the two lines of two, and that's going to open up the 180 degree turns. So you can see I've kind of cut that and opened it up, and now I have my labyrinth. It's complete and walkable. And even making a precise labyrinth, this is something that you can do. And, you know, I did this in four minutes and 35 seconds or so. So this is a quick and easy technique. Um, a little slower using the precise uh, center object, but um, still really great if you want to create a, a simple labyrinth in a small space and you don't have a lot of time.
Now, if you're using tape on a wood floor, you want to be careful that your tape is not so strong that it's going to lift up the varnish. So you might want to test a piece of tape um, on the floor and make sure that it's not going to damage it. Now you can see here I've pulled off the center spiral and that actually changes this into a classical labyrinth, a true classical labyrinth. And the center looks a little bit off balance because of the spiral technique. So what I'm going to do is kind of adjust the tape here to balance the center out a little more. And I'm just going to move this tape over a little bit um, to give the center a little more balance. And uh, now this is the three circuit classical labyrinth, which is the oldest um, form of the labyrinth that exists in the world, maybe going back four to 6,000 years. And uh, it's archetypal in that it um, has this history and tradition and has been passed through, just like the Chakra Vayu also from the Indian uh, Hindu epic tale of the Mahabharata. Um, it is also an archetypal labyrinth. So even though you're using a simple and quick technique, uh, this is a old, old form of the labyrinth and one that's very valid. We haven't cheapened on the design. We've just simplified the materials and methods here. So you may notice that there's also some sharp corners there at the um, entrance and that the turns are not rounded, um, which some people, like myself, prefer to have a rounded turn. So now I'm actually adjusting the tape to round off uh, those 180 degree turns on either side and uh, make that even a little more balanced in its look and feel. And what I like about using tape is that it's forgivable and if you make a mistake you can just pull it up or if you want to make an adjustment you can uh, do that too. And if you're doing this outside you can do it with flagging ribbon and uh, landscape staples. Um, you could wrap the string around a tree but again be careful if it's a big tree you're going to have a very wide pathway. Uh, if you want to also make a precise path width then you can also use just simply two stakes. Um, in the ground and the distance times two is going to be your path width. So if you put two stakes in the ground one foot apart and you wrap your string around the two stakes, then that's going to yield a two foot pathway. So there you have it. Uh, thank you for uh, your subscriptions. Please subscribe to Discover Labyrinth YouTube and like and share your comments. Peace on your path. Good luck. Bye-bye.